This is very nice, and you can buy the stitch kit, and it comes with the needles and everything. But you can also just use thread. Okay? Okay. Uh, you want it to be hidden. You don't want it to show. Okay, so it can be pink or white. Yeah. I even have some peach. Because the, there are different colors of pink. Do you have white? I have extra everything, but uh, this is mine, and and I this is what I use to sew your pumpkin. Your pumpkin. You're gonna roll out a length of thread. I usually go about an arm's like ta -da. That's about all you should use. Or it just ties itself in knots. It doesn't matter the size of your pumpkin. When you thread the needle, you want to double thread it. I can do it. Go, Shannon. Okay, I got my leg up. Well, I you might be it. using regular thread on here since so I can hold it, hold it. Hold it. Can you like double thread it? Oh, Pull it all the way down even. Yes, double thread. Do you see? Mm -hmm. like single bit break. You're going to put a lot of pull and tension on those ribbons and elastic. So you double thread it. This is how you tie a knot. Easy peasy. You ready? You wrap it around your finger and you grab it in between your thumb and your finger. Just wrap it And then you roll it down the finger. You see? Mm -hmm. Ooh, pull. And it makes a knot. Pinky. Okay. <laughs> you want to keep it kind of, try to keep it straight so it doesn't tie itself. Alright, so we have a threaded needle. So, just, just so you know, this isn't going to go like you want it to go. If you do it the first time and you get it right, you have done a really good job. Oh, this is a nice stitch. Interesting. So, we're going to use this. This is elastic. Okay. Cool. Which is not bad, but there's a reason for that. Okay, so, you have your ribbons. Yes. It's one long piece for the most part. You need four pieces of ribbon. You need two for each shoe. So you fold it, and then you fold it again. You cut it at the folds so that you have four pieces of ribbon. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is a nylon ribbon, which is basically plastic. See it unravel? I just cut it. It will unravel all the way down the ribbon. You have to melt the tip to melt it. Get your fire. Ah, you run it, you, you just run it across the tip and it melts it. And it's, it's cool already because it's plastic. It just melts it and then it won't unravel. Okay? But you do both ends on all four ribbons. Does it happen if it's in line to What is the heck is that? It's elastic. Yeah, it's kind of elastic. All right, so we have our ribbon. Yeah? Yeah. Did I fit you in these? No. Okay. May I see? I need to see them on you real quick. So you need to get your toe pads out because I don't want to sew them in the wrong place. Some of you were instructed to maybe when you were there doing the fittings have like crisscross elastic or it was winging off your heel a little bit and you wanted to custom sew your ribbons in a certain way to help 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 hold the shoe on your foot in a certain shape. So while we've got you out here, let's talk about toenails. Um, you need to keep them short now. 
Pedicures are fine. I would be careful, you know, not to get ingrown toenails and things like that. Um, you need to keep them short and you need to keep them in a good shape so that as you put your foot in the shoe and it squeezes those toes together, that like for instance, the corner of this nail isn't stabbing you into the other side of the other toe or even this one or this one, okay? You need to keep it nice and manicured, pushing cuticles back, you know, checking them for length and stuff. If you go up onto the toe and you have a nice long French mm -hmm. pedicure, what happens is, is that because you don't dance on the top of your foot like this, you dance over slightly across the top of the foot up here when you're over on the shoe, okay? It can bruise the toenail bed and your toenails will fall out or they crack. They crack up this way or they crack straight across. Ooh. Is this? Okay, it's it. Uh, you're gonna have to feel it in the shoe. Okay. Okay. You'll be able to tell. You'll be going. Whoa. Uh huh. <laughs> um, if I wasn't there for the surgery and like I got in and I really were there, can I put mine on too so you can see? Absolutely. Right yeah, for sure. Go ahead and put mine. Okay. 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 Okay.